Let us solve one more numerical on electromagnetic waves. The numerical is as shown here. A H field travels. That means magnetic field travels. That means H belongs to an electromagnetic wave. It travels in minus A cap Z direction in free space medium is free space with a phase shift constant phase shift constant nothing but beta that is given by 30 radians per meter the phase shift constant and an amplitude of that means amplitude of h let us say hm is 1 by 3 pi amps per meter and if the field has the direction of minus a field means which field h field that is the direction of magnetic field a cap h direction of magnetic field is minus a y cap then what about this minus a z cap minus a cap minus a cap z is the direction of the wave traveling h travels look at minus a cap z is the direction of the wave traveling that means the direction of the wave propagation is minus a z cap direction of wave propagation minus a y cap is direction of the magnetic field at t equal to 0, z equal to 0. That means at the beginning, at the very first instant of time and space, there is a direction. Write suitable expressions for E and H. Determine the frequency and wavelength. We can easily write the equations for E and H in terms of these values. Let us see, let us go for E. But before that, we shall easily write for H. Information is given for H. H vector is equal to amplitude. Amplitude is given as 1 by 3 pi. Now, we can take the H field as a sinusoidal signal, either sine or cos. Then in standard form, it will be omega t minus beta here we have to identify the direction of the wave propagation so the direction of the wave propagation is minus a z cap so that's why this is going to be a z minus into minus this becomes plus next the direction of h field that is minus a cap y so this forms the equation so let us take this minus 2 amplitude 1 divided by 3 pi cos omega value is not given. We will try to find it later. Beta also, but beta value is given here that is 30 radians per meter to a y cap. If you find omega and place it here, so this makes the complete waveform for H. Then afterwards we can convert it to E. Then if you want to write E, we know that E and H are related through intrinsic impedance of the medium, eta h. So here the medium is free space. So eta is 377 ohms into h. So the amplitude of E becomes 377 into h, amplitude of h, that is minus one by three pi into cos omega t plus 30 z and we have to 
identify the direction of electric field to complete this equation. So what is the direction of electric field? So we know that we can find the direction of the fields using this idea, right? So the direction of electric field and magnetic field undergo cross product to identify the direction of the wave propagation. So follow this rule. What is the direction of the electric field? Don't know. Direction of the magnetic field minus A Y is equal to direction of wave propagation minus A Z. So both sides minus are there. So minus can be dropped on both sides. Now we have to find this direction. So what is the direction of this? See this one Y component, Z component. This must be X component, maybe plus or minus depending upon the order. If you take the order, AX cross AY is equal to AZ. Is it possible? Check this one. So we start with AX. AX cross AY is equal to AZ. So all these three are in order. So that's why this is going to be plus AX cap. So that is plus AX cap. So this makes the electric field, we can compute this amplitude using calculator. So let me summarize the complete problem with the answers. So look into the solution now, the same problem here, beta is given as 30, 30 and amplitude is one by three pi. We have implemented here and direction of H is minus AY minus is taken into amplitude 1 by 3 pi. Everything is put here. We need to find omega as I said. Beta is given. Beta is given. So beta is given by the relation omega into root of mu naught epsilon naught that is omega by C because C is 1 by root of mu naught epsilon 3 into 10 power 8. So using this relation, we can write beta equal to omega by, omega by C. So omega is equal to beta into C. So we can perform this multiplication to get this 19 to 10 power 8 radians per second. Now finally, H becomes minus 1 by 3 pi cos omega t plus 3 uh, beta z into Ay. So Omega is ready, omega is ready. That omega can be used in the equation of the H. Next, to find F, a frequency needed. If frequency needed, omega is equal to 2 pi F. F equal to omega by 2 pi, we get this value. Next, it is also required to find wavelength according to the problem. So lambda is equal to 2 pi by beta. 2 pi by 30 beta value is 1.21 meters. So two very important relations to be noted. This one and this one. So these two relations are very important for wave propagation in free space. So that is the solution for this problem. Thank you.